Eric, that's a sixth one in a row and a fourth consecutive clean sheet. So are you a, a happy, satisfied man tonight? No. <laughs> of course, when you win 3-0, then uh, you're happy. Uh, every game in the Premier League is difficult. Uh, We've we seen that in the results, um, all the previous games and the last uh, 14 days in the Premier League. So when you then win uh, 3-0, that's very good. Uh, great goals. Um, just the entertainment for the, for the audience as well. Um, and so we're happy, clean sheet as well. But uh, today, David De Gea really deserved the clean sheet. He has to work hard for it. And, and it was also due. Uh, I, I, I thought we didn't play that smart in the second half. 3-0 tonight, does the, does the scoreline tell the story? Well, I think uh, at the end we, we concede too many chances, but yeah, I think we controlled the first half very well. We scored a goal, good goal from a free kick. Uh, then the first 20 minutes in the second half as well, we controlled the game, we scored the, the second goal and suddenly, yeah, we, we lost a bit the, the, the tempo of the game. I think players feel a bit tired, I think, and yeah, they create some chances. Of course, they, they, they have a, a good team, good players in front and they create some chances, but I think we control the game quite well and big three points for us. Sixth win in a row, fourth consecutive clean sheet. Was that a good night at the office tonight? Yeah, I mean, of course, uh, it's always always great to to score some goals and keep a clean sheet. So uh, I think we made it a little bit uh, difficult for us towards the end there. Uh, we could have controlled the game a bit better, but uh, kept a clean sheet and won the game. So that's the most important. You mentioned the goals, uh, Casemiro and Luke Shaw, not regular goal scorers, but a couple of fine strikes. Oh, we're great goals. I'm happy uh, once again with the set play. Oh, we invest a lot in that and it was a, was a great goal. Uh, from Casemiro, uh, but the, the counter a bit lucky, and it was also a, a good pass from Canaccio, uh, but Luke uh, set it up by himself, and then he moved forward. Was really dynamic with a lot of speed, uh, but also other offensive players who make move, the right movements. So and a great go uh, and good finish. Um, so we are really happy with that. And then the last goal also uh, was also a great goal, good pass from Luki on the good movement from Bruno, and then the layoff. Some big saves from you in, in the second half, particularly at 2-0. At um, how determined were you to keep that clean sheet? Yeah, it's great. To feel, it's a great feeling. Uh, I think the whole team deserves the, the clean sheet. For example, today we changed the centre-backs. They play really well. So it doesn't matter who's playing. I think that's the most important thing now. I think we have... I'm feeling that we are a, a great team. Everyone is in the same direction. Everyone is uh, playing and training at 100%, so it's, it's great to see the team like this and yes, let's keep the momentum and keep playing like today and winning games. Can I just check on a couple of players? Donny was doing well but then went off, it looked like a nasty knock he took. Is there any news on, on how he is? No, that is too quick. Uh, we have to wait 24 hours and then you can make the right diagnosis, so the medical have to do their work. Uh, it doesn't look that great. And Anthony, was it just a knock to the anti Marshall? Was it a knock to the face? Was yes, it? but I think he will be good. He will be fine. Uh, he continues the game, so I hope he will recover overnight um, and will be fresh for Friday. Competition for places as well. Yourself and Harry back tonight. You've had a bit of illness in the last couple of weeks. So how good a was it to come back and to keep it? The clean sheet. Yeah, no, of course, it's very nice to, to be back. Uh, it's always nice to get some some minutes in the legs and to and to help the team uh, get the three points. So it felt good uh, physically, and uh, I mean, obviously, I played a lot of games with H as well. So I thought it uh, it worked well today as well. Yeah, it's one of those things where you've played so often together. I don't suppose you you don't you don't need to worry about it because you know each other's games so well. Don't you? Yeah, exactly. I mean, like I said, we played a, a lot of games together, and uh, I think he's a fantastic player, and uh, he performed at a, a very high level today. And the squad, we look at the bench as well. Well, um, a few players coming back from injury, Lissandra coming back from the World Cup. Does it show the strength and depth? A very busy time. Yeah, season? and I think that's it's very very important to have a uh, to have a squad, and uh, because like you said, the games are coming uh, coming thick and fast now. So we need everyone to be to be ready to go out there and perform. And uh, yeah, that's just what we need. Well, two centre backs who played in a World Cup final are on the bench, and then you've got Harry and Victor who played together so often. Now that strength and depth, how important is that? Yeah, that's, that's what I was saying. It's, it's massive for us. doesn't matter who, who play the game. Uh, everyone is ready to play and help the team. Even the substitutions today, they've been great. They help the team and that's, that's my feeling. 
feel really happy with the, all the players. I think we are doing really well. And the squad looking strong. I mean, we saw Diogo Delo come back, but does that give you a nice problem? Because Aaron Wambazaka is also playing well. Is it a nice problem for you? To uh, have? I like these problems. Uh, he's um, doing really well, Aaron, uh, in the last couple of games. Um, defending really consistent, um, reliable, and in offense also, he has a part in it. He contributes well. So, yeah, a nice fight um, in, in, in the squad, but also we have a lot of games to cover, so we will need them all. This is your 510th appearance into the top 10 of all time appearance makers. Fanta I mean, the, the accolades yeah. keep coming, don't they? Yeah, it's a, it's a huge honor to be on the, in the top 10 appearance of this club. It's, it's something crazy. Uh, I'm feeling really well, uh, so let's see if I can. I can reach uh, the top the top ones and uh, yeah, keep enjoying, keep playing well and, and helping the team. We're now third or joint third uh, in the league after this great run. Are you, do you look at the table? Are you looking at it and thinking it's looking good? I mean, no, not me personally. I mean, the, the most important thing for us is just uh, take one game at a time. And uh, I think that's that's the way you have to, to look at it. And obviously today we got the three points. We're very happy for that. And then tomorrow we start the recovery and then we look for, forward to the to the next game. Just mentioned a couple of the goals. And Casemiro shows that he can be a goal threat. And Luke Shaw, fantastic goal. Yeah, I think we scored three amazing goals uh, today, and uh, yeah, it just shows that uh, everyone in the in the in the team can can score. And uh, like I said, three three fantastic goals. So here we are on Tuesday. We're playing again on Friday in the FA Cup, the League Cup next Tuesday. I mean, do you like this time where there's just game after yeah. game, competition after competition? For me, it's good. Yeah, for me, it's, I'm happy to just go to the game, have some recovery, go to the game. For me, it's fine. But that, of course, some players. I think at the end, you see some players a bit tired, so it's not easy. For, for the team, so we have to try to recover as soon as possible uh, yeah, and prepare the game quickly because it's too many games in a row, so it's, it's tough, but that's how it's uh, Premier League and FA Cup, everything is like this now, so we have to, to be really focused and we have a big squad, so everyone has to be ready to play. We're doing well in the league, but now it breaks for the Cup, FA Cup Friday night, then League Cup next Tuesday. Do you like this time of the season where the competitions are coming and the games are coming? Fun. Yeah, no, I enjoy it. Of course, it's, uh, it's the most, of the, it's the best thing, uh, you know, in football to, to play games. And uh, you know, when the games are coming thick and fast, like you said, it's just, yeah, it's the best, the best thing. Yeah, because a game on what well, just in three days on Friday, another one next Tuesday. I mean, so is this to show the importance of the squad when you've got so many games and so many competitions? Uh, quite clear. Um, you need uh, depth in the squad, um, otherwise you get hammered, and yeah, we have to keep the squad fit. And so, yeah, what happened with Donny, uh, that is uh, bad in first place for Donny, of course, but it's also really bad news for Manchester United if it's a bad injury. Thanks for your time. Cheers. You're welcome. Thank you. All the best. And finally, just in terms of the spirit, I mean, that's six straight wins in all, in all of the competitions. In terms of the sort of team spirit and the excitement going into every game, can you feel that yeah, going into this new year? Yeah, yeah, of course. I think everyone is, like I say, is very ready to play. Always, uh, uh, everyone is even if they are not playing much, they are ready to be there and help the team. And so it's, it's fantastic, fantastic just to see the, the players uh, perform like they are doing. Thanks, David. All the best. Thank you very much. Four consecutive games at Old Trafford. Do you think this place is becoming a bit of a, um, a fortress again? Teams do not look forward to coming here if we look at the, the run we've had. Yeah, I mean, the, I mean, every game that we play here, I mean, the support that uh, the fans are giving us and, uh, you know, they, they are part of it as well. They're, they're helping us and they're pushing us all the time. So. It's always a, a pleasure to, to play here at home. Thanks a lot, Peter. Thank Cheers. you.